Hi, this video tutorial I will cover how to read HTML form data using uh, the methods provided by Servlet API. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, Servlet form data introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. To explain how to read HTML form data using uh, the methods provided by Servlet API, I have created uh, one sample project called uh, Servlet form data post. Okay, and uh, in this example, I am using uh, method as uh, post. Uh, first, uh, what I will do is I will uh, deploy this uh, web application. File export var file next, and I am browsing and uh, placing inside the web apps folder. So you can see the war file is uh, placed inside the web apps folder of uh, Tomcat. Okay, I am clicking finish. Then I am starting the server. And uh, server has been started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this URL. I have given till uh, context path uh, in address bar. Okay. Then I am going to enter. So it will display the index.html content that is a welcome page. I am opening index.html, it has only one link. So when you click this link, it will uh, forward to customer form.html. Okay. So I am clicking that uh, customer form link, and uh, you can see customer form HTML content is uh, displayed here. It has uh, first name, last name, and submit button. And I am opening customer form.html and uh, here you can see first name, uh, last name and when you click submit, uh, it will uh, uh, send the request to the server. The action is uh, customer info form and uh, method is post. Okay. So before I enter first name, last name and uh, click on submit, I am going to open uh, web developer uh, developer toolbar it has opened here now I am going to give the first name Ram and Charan I will give us a last name ok uh, now I will click on submit uh, once I click this uh, submit button the request goes to the web server and the URL pattern is uh, customer info form ok uh, then what the web server will do is it will uh, forward the request to the uh, servlet container then servlet container will uh, use this URL pattern customer info form and it will identify the corresponding uh, servlet so to identify the corresponding servlet it will uh, check web.xml okay so in web.xml uh, customer info form URL pattern is there corresponding to that uh, servlet name is customer info form and uh, it will identify uh, corresponding uh, servlet in the servlet tag okay and the corresponding uh, servlet is customer info servlet then what uh, servlet container will do is it will uh, load uh, customer info servlet class and it will instantiate the customer info servlet class and it will call the init method first uh, then uh, based on the method type it will call the corresponding uh, do method okay so in this case uh, we are using uh, post method right in the customer form dot html we specified post right so it will call uh, uh, do post method of uh, customer info servlet and uh, process the request and uh, response will be sent back to the client okay i will open uh, customer info servlet uh, dot java class it has uh, three methods the first method is init method and the second method is uh, do post method which will handle the request and it will generate the response and send the response back to the client and uh, third method is uh, destroy method okay uh, like i mentioned this init method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this servlet after that uh, servlet container will call the do post method uh, we have specified uh, method as uh, post in the customer form html so the servlet container will call the 
do post method to process the request and it will generate the response and uh, response will be sent back to the client okay so here what we are doing is uh, we are reading the uh, customer form data and uh, we are writing in the print writer of uh, response object okay and uh, you can see the output here so here you can see the row uh, which is post and uh, once I click on this row you can see the request header and response header and uh, here in the top you can see the request URL and uh, request method is post and the status code is 200 uh, 200 meaning uh, the server has uh, processed the request successfully and uh, send the response back to the client okay and clicking on this uh, response tab you can see the response uh, uh, which a client got from the server okay so this HTML has sent from the server so what client will do is once a client receive this uh, HTML uh, response from the server it will interpret and uh, it will show in the nice way in the browser okay that is what you are seeing here and uh, clicking on params uh, you can see the what and all parameter uh, uh, and uh, corresponding values are passed to the server from the client okay so there are two parameters are passed one is first name another one is uh, last name okay uh, we will see how to get this uh, parameter names and corresponding values so the first way to get the request parameter uh, value is uh, using the request dot get parameter method okay so here you have to pass the uh, parameter name okay so in this case uh, parameter name is first underscore name and another parameter name is there last underscore name so here I am passing first underscore name and the uh, second one I am passing uh, last underscore name okay so the output uh, you are seeing here okay Ram and Charan and uh, suppose uh, you want to get all the parameters and the corresponding uh, values then what we can do is we can use uh, uh, request dot get parameter names method so what this method will return is uh, it will return enumeration of uh, parameter names once we get enumeration of uh, parameter names we can uh, iterate and uh, get each uh, parameter name and uh, pass the parameter name to the request dot get parameter method that will return corresponding parameter value okay so output of this one you are seeing here okay so all the parameter and the corresponding values are displayed here and uh, another way of uh, getting all the parameter and uh, uh, value is uh, using the request dot get parameter map method so it will return uh, parameter map so from the map you can get the parameter names uh, set so from parameter uh, name set uh, that is nothing but a keys uh, we can get each key so in this case uh, key is uh, parameter name and once you get the key which is uh, parameter name you can pass it to the parameter map to get the corresponding parameter value so once you get the parameter value uh, that is a string array you can iterate and uh, you can get the corresponding value and uh, this is the corresponding output okay and uh, this server class has uh, destroy method this method will be called uh, when we shut down the server or uh, uh, servlet is uh, taken out of service okay i will shut down the server you can see this uh, destroy method will be called okay I'm shutting down the server and uh, you can see destroy method has been called okay uh, so this is about how to read HTML form data using uh, the methods provided by Servlet API and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.